I'm not afraid of being dead, but I am afraid of getting dead. One doctor's visit changed Ed Dobson's life forever. I'm being told I have two to five years to live, most of it in a disabled condition. His only prescription? To walk, talk, and live like Jesus for one year. Instead of getting up every morning and wondering which muscle doesn't work that worked yesterday. I would get up every morning focused on trying to live like Jesus. Living with Lou Gehrig's disease meant this former pastor would lose his religion to find a relationship. What I was trying to do for the first time was try to eliminate all of the religious, theological, denominational constraints and go back to what Jesus said and see if it's possible to follow that. Would this new way of life allow him to finally embrace his Savior? I'm not asking God to heal me. I'm throwing myself on the mercy of God. As the year went on, you know, we saw the beard get longer and we hear these funny stories. I ate kosher, which is a pain in the neck. I observed the Sabbath, which is a pain in the neck. But it was also very serious. And we began to see the people that he was influencing as a result of this, this journey he was on. I didn't know everything it would entail, so I couldn't question everything. As I read the Gospels, I decided maybe I should try to obey them. There were times when I'd think, oh my goodness, where is this going to take him mentally and spiritually? But can anyone truly follow Jesus' steps? He's a man who's trying to remain true to the scriptures and true to the attitudes of Jesus. And I don't know how you can do better than that, regardless of what you do. And after all, he was God, so he had a slight advantage. Discover the impact of a year of living like Jesus. I found it to be really powerful. I felt at times like I was caught up in the story that I was really standing there listening to Jesus. And what it takes to really find faith. I don't think I really care what they think about me. Ultimately what matters is what they think about Jesus. And if in this crazy wild experiment someone picks up the Bible and thinks, I ought to read the Gospels. To me, that will be the redeeming factor.